Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube and the PSVR community, and welcome to PSVR America. PSVR America. PSVR America. PSVR America. PSVR America. And what I like to call Review Complex. In today's video, I would like to touch on some games that I like to play and think they should not be forgotten. Like cassette tapes and phone booths. First would be Peerhead Arcade. I did have fun plays in this game. My favorite game in Peerhead Arcade was basketball. I thought it was really well made. Unlike 2K VR. Yeah, what the hell was that? Garbage. I actually made a cheat for a basketball video. It's a cheat to me anyways. It wasn't really well explained, but- He rides the short bus. I swear one of these days, Pip. What was that sound? Oh, uh, that was my text alert. Oh, okay. How come you never text me? I'm gonna text you one of these days. Don't you worry about that. Another game you could play, I think it's called Rocket Ball, where you can throw the balls into the holes. If you got good aim, you'll do well. Yeah, you always want to get it into the hole. Can I win tickets? Good thing you asked. And yes, you can. And you can save so many quarters. Cha-ching, cha-ching! Another game I like is Arctic Shuffle, where you throw the penguins onto the board and you try to get a good score. There's a few more I like, and they have a shooting gallery type game, kind of like the Wild West. Those are just a few that I like. Can I win prizes? You can win prizes. This is like being at Dave and Buster's, just saving a lot more on drinks. The cool thing about these prizes is that a lot of them are interactive. A few prizes that I won and I liked were the remote control car, the flying drone, and the xylophone. Uh, it actually played real musical notes on it, which I thought was really cool. I also made a video about how to use a remote control car because I had trouble figuring it out myself. Not the best video, but I think it gets the point across. You can also get on global leader boards for high scores. The next game I would like to talk about is Ultra Wings. Ultra Wings is a flying game that gives you a good simulation of flying in a plane. Unlike pirate flight, yeah, I should have listened to Polish Paul. I learned my lesson on that game. Dumbass. You sure are getting a lot of messages today. <sighs> Remain calm. Remain calm. So in this game, you get to use your virtual hands and hit the buttons like you're actually up on a plane. And using the stick just feels right. Cheese on pizza. I would say this game is a lot like Pilot Wings. Just an updated version of it and it's in VR. You can get multiple aircrafts throughout the game, and you have tasks and missions that need to be completed. Like making your lady happy. And different locations that need to be explored. Just ask your sweetheart. One of my favorites was the speed plane. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it was my favorite. Aren't you forgetting something? I don't, I don't think so. You got 50 subscribers, you sure? Yes. Let me check. Oh wow. I never thought I would see this day. So 100 more subscribers and a giveaway. No. Oh, you're right. I would like to thank everybody who subscribed and good luck on getting the code for the $25 PlayStation Store card. Giveaway. 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 Please comment if you want. I'm sure everybody would like to know, including me. Another game I would like to mention is Hollow Ball. Hollow Ball is a nice one-player game if you like sweating and being active. It's probably the closest game we have got to tennis or racquetball at the moment. It's like stepping aside Tron. The room just has a feeling of coolness to it. You can use rackets, paddles, or whatever you want to call them. But if you got enough skills like me, you can just use one, because you can use two in the game. If I didn't mention it before. You ain't got no skills. They are blowing up your phone today. Blow you up. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not. Moving along. You are able to resize the room and your ball to fit your comfort. You need to resize your balls. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. 
I'm gonna do it. A couple of channels to check out. If you have been living under a rock, Polish Paul, he will tell you straight up if a game is good or not. He's very funny. I'm a big fan of his. Next up would be 7 Degrees of Gaming. I recently come across this channel and watched E3 live stream there. This guy just seems like a good guy. And last but not least is a salesman, PSVR Frank. Probably one of the biggest PSVR channels out there at the moment. He will give you some good information, but it seems to me like he will try to sell you on everything. I love the PSVR community. Peace out.